What's up guys, you're watching Ty's iPhone Help. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the new uh, 4.3 firmware on every device that supports it other than the iPad 2 which just came out. Be patient for that one. Uh, so before we start getting into the jailbreak of course I gotta talk about all the stuff you need to know. Um, so this works with every device as I said, iPod Touch, 3rd, 4th generation, uh, iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4 as well as the first generation iPad. Uh, iPad 2 will come soon. Uh, if you are unlocked on your iPhone, uh, any iPhone, I do not suggest you update. There's not an unlock for it yet. You can do it with this and preserve your baseband. and You can unlock it, but just don't. If you have an unlocked iPhone, just don't use this guide at all. Just wait. Uh, unfortunately, this is a Tether jailbreak, and right now it is only available for Windows. I'm not sure if the Mac uh, version will come out soon or not. Uh, but this is Snow Breeze 2.3. Beta 1, so there may be uh, future releases. The untethered jailbreak may not be released until the 4.3.1 firmware is out because that may be coming very soon. Uh, it just depends. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically uh, what you need to know. Don't try this with an iPhone 4. Uh, this is a tethered jailbreak, so that means you're going to have to reboot uh, your device by plugging it up to your computer and running this program uh, every time you want to turn your device off and back on. So, that kind of sucks. Uh, but if you really want to jailbreak on 4.3, here's what you need to do. So before we start, you're going to need to download Snow Breeze and the 4.3 firmware for your device. I will have a link uh, right below the video in the description. Just click show more down there. Uh, it'll show the full description and give you all the links and stuff you need. It'll take you to my site um, or it'll say downloads or whatever. And then you can read the post there and it'll have all the, the Snow Breeze downloads and the firmware downloads. And you just pick the right one uh, for your device that you have. You need to have iTunes updated to the current version, which I'm currently doing right now in the background. Now, I'm also going to mention this because a lot of people actually ask me this in the comments of my jailbreak videos. Uh, so I'm going to give you an example, and I'm about to do mine this way. All right, so my iPod Touch is on, uh, let's see, go to About. It is on 4.2.1. I don't know if it'll focus in there, but yeah, there we go. So I'm on 4.2.1. So a lot of people ask me, they're like, hey, I'm jailbroken on 4.2.1, and I want to update to 4.3. Do I need to... Uh, update and then jailbreak, do I need to restore, do I need to, uh, just a regular update. So here's what I do and here's what I definitely recommend you do. You don't have to do it this way but it's, it's definitely the best way. Go ahead, download the 4.3 firmware and uh, what you're going to need to do is when once we do this process it's going to create a custom firmware for you and you're going to do a shift restore to it uh, rather than an update for it, which which I'm going to show you in the guys actually just check for update. But what I'm going to do before I try this is I'm actually going to download the 4.3 firmware and I'm going to hold the shift key or option key depending on with your, whether you're using Mac or uh, Windows and I'm going to uh, select the 4.3 firmware for my device and what it's going to do is restore it and wipe everything out of your device. Uh, that's just if you do that. That's not the jailbreak is going to do that by the way. Uh, so that gives me a fresh install of 4.3. Then do not, I repeat, do not restore to a backup. Just go and manually check everything and sync it back to your uh, device. You can go ahead and sync it beforehand and that starts you out fresh, clean. If you do a restore to backup, it will actually back up some of the stuff from the jailbreak previously and put it on your device, but you won't be able to see it. So it's like it's just taking up space. Uh, so that gives you a fresh install, fresh jailbreak once you get this done uh, and everything will work perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and update my device now, let the firmwares and everything finish downloading as well as iTunes, and I'm going to come back and start the guide once it's done. Sorry that took so long, but there's tons of stuff to explain. Alright, so my device is now updated to a fresh 4.3 install. Go ahead and open up Snow Breeze. Uh, again, make sure you check the description for the link to the downloads. Um, and also check the description because I will put all the notes in there that you need. Like if anything uh, is going wrong with a lot of people's devices or anything, uh, that is a good place to check. Just hit the show more uh, under the video. Alright, so we got Snow Breeze open. Uh, it's going to give you some information here. Again, this is tethered, so uh, you will have to do the process to uh, actually reboot your device if you want to. Alright, so just go ahead and hit next. Are you seriously sure you want to do this? Alright, go ahead and hit browse. And we're going to select the 4.3 firmware for your device that you downloaded. So here's mine, iPod 4.1 4.3, identifying IPSW. All right, here we go. Click next there to continue. I right, go ahead and do expert mode. Hit next. All right, and then right here you can select any of the following options. I uh, then click the arrow to continue. You can do custom boot logos, custom package, custom or build IPSW. 
uh, which will go ahead and go on to the next step, unlocks general. Again, unlocks, don't worry about this. Uh, I'm not going to do any of the custom settings. You can look through here if you want to, um, but I'm not going to. I actually just checked this, and now it's not letting me uncheck it, but whatever. I'll go ahead and uh, build IPSW. And then hit next. And then it asks you if you want to play Pac-Man. It's going to go ahead and create the firmware, uh, and I will come back once it is done. All right, so there we go. Snow Breeze is done building the IPSW. Go ahead and hit OK. And now what we're going to do is put our device into DFU mode. Uh, so first step is to turn your device off and have it plugged up. Uh, just go ahead and plug it up, turn it off, and uh, then we can continue. Some of you may be familiar with putting your device into DFU mode. Uh, it's pretty simple. You hold the power and home button for 10 seconds, release, and hold the home button, and never let go of the home button. So let's go ahead and start. There we go. There we go, we're pressing both buttons in. Your device should turn on just like that. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Now release the power button and hold the home button uh, for about 30 seconds. And it's counting down here for you, uh, just if you need help. That's how I can talk and count at the same time. <laughs> so don't release it yet. Uh, keep holding it in and I will tell you when to let go. All right, once you get this pop-up, you can now release the home button. I just go ahead, go ahead and head, hit, hit OK. Can't speak right now. <laughs> All right, so we will uh, go ahead and close Snow Breeze. All right, and then you can go ahead and open up iTunes. Uh, you will have a new iBooty folder. I know it's a funny name uh, on your computer from uh, Snow Breeze. That's how you're going to actually do the uh, reboot with the Tether jailbreak process. All right, so what you're going to do is uh, go ahead and hold the Shift key. Uh, which I have an on-screen keyboard because I don't actually have the uh, uh, keyboard on, with my computer. So hold in the shift key and click restore. Now remember this is going to erase all of your data so make sure you have synced this all up before you do this. Go to your desktop or wherever the firmware is saved and let's go ahead and locate uh, the folder or the, the firmware. Now it should be called Snow Breeze, like that should be the first name of it so go ahead and search for that. Uh, that they did go ahead and name that so you know which one to select. Uh, so do that, and there you go. It'll start restoring, and uh, iTunes should do all the work from here on out uh, until we get to the rebooting process. And I'll come back once we are there. All right, so my iPod is now done restoring to the custom firmware. Again, do not restore to a backup if you have jailbroken uh, before. So just go ahead and set it up as new. That's what I always do. Uh, if you weren't jailbroken previously, then it, it's just fine to do. I would always set up as new. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cancel the sync. We can go ahead and close iTunes now. So I'm going to quit that. All right, so now what we're going to do is open up the folder that's called iBooty for 4.3. And we're going to open up the iBooty.exe file. Go ahead and open that up. All right, and now you're going to select your device. I've already got my device or iPod Touch uh, turned off. You should do the same. Keep it plugged up. I go ahead and hit start and what this is going to do is we're going to get ready and we're going to put it into DFU mode and we have to do it just like we did before. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit start. It's counting down for us and we start in four seconds. Okay, I'm holding both the power and home button. See my device is turning on now. Two, one. Now release the power button and continue holding the home button. There we go. And it's done. Just give it a second and I'll come back once it's done. And there we go. My device has been jailbroken. There we go. I got Cydia. Let's open it up. And that's it. Go ahead and enjoy your jailbroken 4.3 device. Unfortunately, again, it is tethered, so you'll have to do that every time, uh, but that is a price to pay if you want a uh, jailbreak on 4.3 at the moment. So thanks for watching. If this video helped you out at all, please be sure to click the like button down there below the video. It really helps me out, uh, and I really appreciate that. It only takes you a second, uh, and that kind of shows thanks for all these guides and videos I do for you guys. And don't forget to hit the Ties off Help icon right there, and that will take you to a subscribe page because you guys want to be updated when I post new jailbreak videos, so that will keep you up to date on your YouTube homepage. 
that's it. Let me know if you have any trouble in the comments below, and I'll try to help you out. Hopefully, you guys can help each other out, because there's probably going to be a ton of comments. But uh, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.